break it so lonely. I'll break it so lonely. Thank you. I get so lonely. Thank you. I get so lonely. Thank you. I get so lonely, baby. Thank you. I get so lonely. Next. Well, it makes me so lonely, baby. Thank you. I'm so lonely. I could die. Oh, rock me, Lord, rock me, Lord. Oh, so lonely. I get so lonely. I could die. Thank you. Uh, so when do we jam record in industry dance? <laughs> Bill, this is most disastrous. We totally crashed and burned in front of the entire San Dimas recording community. We didn't even make first cut. It's a completely creepy feeling to fail before a large group of Elvises. Gentlemen, why the long faces? Rufus, our chances for getting into an actual recording studio just totally went up in smoke. We're beginning to wonder if the Wild Stallions are ever going to scratch their way up from obscurity to reach even minor superstardom. Everyone goes through rejection. It's part of the deal. Dude, I hate to say it, but self-doubt seems most heinously setting up shop outside our respective doors. My friends, real success, like the kind that Elvis and you two dudes will have, cannot be measured by the number of nods you get from recording industry phone monkeys. Your success comes totally from within, and persistence is the key that unlocks it. Wow. Why, even the king himself faced rejection many times before he reached greatness. No way. What kind of doofus would reject the king of rock and roll? Who indeed, gentlemen? That's all right now, mama. That's all right with you. That's all right now, mama. Just any way you do. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right now, mama. Any way you do. Well, mama, she done told me. Papa done told me too. Son, that gal you fooling with. She ain't no kids. Professional recording. Shh. Do the tip. That's all right now, Mama. Any way you do. Bill, I had no idea the king of rock and roll was ever a skinny kid. Hold for sure. And if you want to be bothered with me hanging around your. Still not there, Mr. Richards? Elvis. You're a nice kid, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't tell you. Stick to driving that truck. Dude, it's Rufus's phone monkey. Well, I can do it another way, Mr. Richards. I've heard enough. I'm pretty busy today, son. Thank you, boys. See you next week, huh? Well, thanks for the opportunity, sir. No, no way. way! Who in the hell are you? Dude, you don't know who you just rejected. That's the king of rock and roll. He's the total beacon of truth, dude. What are you, friends of his? More like kindred spirits. Well, do your friend a favor. Don't encourage him. I've seen a lot of lies thrown away over dreams that will never come true. Come on, Elmer, buy you a beer. You can't let this rejected feeling bum you out, Elvis, dude. What if he's wrong? How can he be wrong, fellas? Music's the man's business. But, dude, it's totally your business, too. You're the king of rock and roll. Rock and what? Rock and roll. Just who are you, anyhow? We're fellow musicians. I'm Bill S. Preston Esquire. And I'm Ted Theodore Logan. And our band, the Wild Stallions, plans to follow in the greatness of your groundbreaking footsteps. Well, I hope you plan on driving a truck for a living. Dude, you can't take the advice of that record industry phone monkey. Listen, fellas, I appreciate the pep talk. But there's no future for me in music. Dude, your future is music. Well, I guess I'm just a little tired of rejection. If I don't get some attention from somebody soon, I... I just don't see dreaming my life away. Ted, I just figured out why Rufus sent us here. The contest. We'll take Elvis back to win it, and then he won't quit rock and roll. 
And then we'll make him the third to be announced Wild Stallion and win the recording contract. Well, Elvis, you've had a long day. Allow us to give you a ride. I'm late for work, fellas. Don't worry, dude. We'll have you back in time. Boy, you're a dead ringer. This is our friend, uh, uh, Eddie V. Halen. Yeah. I'm nice to meet you, Ed. It's nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> is there something wrong, sir? Oh, sorry, I, uh... I mean, you're just so much like him. <laughs> like who? Number 50, you're up next. Gotta go. <laughs> Later, dude. <laughs> Well, it's down at the end of Lonely Street. That's a break or two. Well, I'll be. How about you, fellas? I feel a little bit nervous. Don't think about being nervous, dude. Because then you'll think about the judges who could easily reject you. Or that your guitar string could break. Or your voice might crack. Which would completely humiliate you. Make people think you're an old talent fool. Thank you. Listen, fellas, I, I don't know who you are. How come you're taking a shine to my music? Music heck, man, my dream. I just want to thank you. Thank you. Uh, I just want to thank you for this opportunity. I hope you like it. That's all right now, Mama. That's all right with you. That's all right now, Mama. Just anyway. Bill. Elvis is singing most on Elvis Land. He's totally gonna lose his own contest. Right now, Mama, any way you do. Well, Mama, she done told me, Papa done told me. Thank you. No. Brutal. Well, that's it. Two rejections in one day. Elvis Presley don't need the sledgehammer upside his head. No way. Dude. Man, dreaming ain't no way for me to live his life. I'm a truck driver. That's all I ever beat. Just take me back to Memphis, fellas. Ted, we totally killed rock and roll, dude. I do not think this is what Rufus had in mind. 